Hey buddy, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to our channel, Fact Hunters. In this video, we will take you through the top 10 fascinating facts about the human brain. If you're new to this channel, then here's our introduction, we here at Fact Hunters create and upload daily interesting fact videos on our channel. So, if you would like to have our content on your feed, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's begin. Video games may help improve your brain's processing, judgment and reasoning abilities. Video games, more preferably action video games like PUBG and Call of Duty, influence cognitive abilities such as perception, attention, and reaction time. The human brain learns and adapts. Numerous research studies have focused on the impact of action video games on the brain by measuring cognitive abilities, such as perception and reaction time. An international team of psychologists has assembled data from the last 15 years to quantify how action video games impact cognition. The research has resulted in two meta-analyses, which reveal a significant improvement in the cognitive abilities of gamers. Apart from this, video games also help in improving coordination. Improving problem-solving skills. Enhancing memory. Improving attention and concentration. Improving the brain's speed. Enhancing multitasking skills. And they are also a great source of learning. Don't be that happy though, they have their own disadvantages also. But, we will not cover them here. Number 9. About 75% of the brain is made up of water. About 75% of the brain is made up of water. This means that dehydration, even as small as 2%, can have a negative effect on brain functions. Dehydration and a loss of sodium and electrolytes can cause acute changes in memory and attention. The human brain is composed of 75% water and 60% fat. It is the organ in the body with the highest composition of fat, in other words, your brain is the most fatty organ. Number 8. The human brain grows three times in size in the first year of life. Human brains grow most rapidly just after birth and reach half their adult size within three months, according to a study in JAMA Neurology. Using advanced scanning techniques, researchers found male brains grew more quickly than those of female infants. Babies' brains grow by 1% each day beginning right after infants are born, according to a new study that aimed to map newborns' brains during their first three months of life. Number 7. We use more than 10% of our brain. The human brain is complex. Along with performing millions of mundane acts, it composes concertos, issues manifestos and comes up with elegant solutions to equations. It's the wellspring of all human feelings, behaviors, experiences as well as the repository of memory and self-awareness. 10% myth, is so wrong it is almost laughable, says neurologist Barry Gordon at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore. It's also been associated with Albert Einstein, who supposedly used it to explain his cosmic towering intellect. It turns out though, that we use virtually every part of the brain, and that most of the brain is active almost all the time. Number 6. The human brain begins to lose memory abilities and cognitive abilities after the late 20s. The aging process of the brain begins in our late 20s, and we start to lose brain cells. This process is a part of natural aging and happens to everyone. Fortunately, this happens in the parts of our brains that are not in use and does not impact on our intelligence, memory, or ability to learn. Into our 30s, it's important to really use and exercise different parts of our brains. If we do not exercise our brains, then features of declining memory can start as early as in our 30s, and can be significant by the age of 50. To prevent this, you should be exercising the brain with social interaction, reading, doing crosswords, and learning a new skill, like a language, chess or playing bridge, a musical instrument, and dancing, have all been shown to increase the size of the white matter of the brain, which is associated with improvement in mental function. Number 5. Dreams are believed to be a combination of imagination, psychological factors, and neurological factors. The limbic system in the midbrain deals with emotions in both waking and dreaming and includes the amygdala, which is mostly associated with fear and is especially active during dreams. Dreams are proof that your brain is working even when you are sleeping. The average human has about 4 to 7 dreams per night. Number 4. Neutrons in the brain transfer messages at a speed of 250 miles per hour. The nervous system is responsible for transmitting impulses throughout the body. The function of our bodies throughout our lives are primarily supported by the nervous system. 
The speed of a nerve impulse varies with the type of nerve impulse the nervous system is sending. Some signals such as those for muscle position, travel at speeds up to 119 meters per second. Nerve impulses such as pain signals travel slower at 0.61 meters per second. Touch signals travel at speeds of 76.2 meters per second. If you are watching this at this moment and thinking at the same time, thought signals are traveling at speeds ranging between 20 and 30 meters per second. Number 3. The human brain contains approximately 86 billion neurons. The human brain is made up of a complex network of neurons. These neurons serve as the building blocks of the nervous system, transmitting information to and from the brain and throughout the body. You probably expect that a large number of neurons are required for such a complex process. According to many estimates, the human brain contains around 100 billion neurons. This estimate has often been reported for many years in neuroscience and psychology textbooks and for many years was simply accepted as a relatively close approximation. Recently, however, Brazilian researcher Dr. Susana Herculano Housel discovered that these estimates might not be entirely accurate. Then, she found that an average human brain has 86 billion neurons which are 14 billion less than what we expected. Number 2. During the mummification process, Egyptians removed the brain through nose. This process of removing the brain prior to embalming is called exerebration. Greek writer Herodotus, a frequent visitor to Egypt wrote in the 5th century BC about the process, having agreed on a price, the bearers go away, and the workmen, left alone in their place, embalm the body. If they do this in a perfect way, they first draw out part of the brain through the nostrils with an iron hook, and inject certain drugs into the rest. An object more than 7 inches long probably made from plants would have been used for liquefying and removing the brain. The instrument would be inserted through a hole punched into the ethmoid bone near the nose. Some parts of the brain would be wrapped around this stick and pulled out, and the other parts would be liquefied. The Egyptian mummy would then be put on its abdomen and the liquid drained through the nose hole before other embalming procedures. Isn't that interesting? Click on the i button to know more interesting stuff about Egyptians' mummies and pyramids. Number 1. Sign of successful brain surgeries go as far back as Stone Age. The skull of a Stone Age cow that underwent brain surgery 5,400 years ago has baffled scientists. The skull has a large hole on the right side of the forehead which is believed to have been created by a human using a crude surgical tool. The procedure bears a striking resemblance to trepanation, a form of surgery that is 10,000 years old. It involved drilling or scrapping a hole in the skull of a patient to relieve pain and pressure after head trauma or neurological trauma. The procedure was also done to remove the demons from a person's body if they were exhibiting abnormal behavior. The belief was that for many ailments that involved severe pain in the head of a patient, removing a circular piece of the cranium would release the pressure. The cow's skull, which was virtually complete, is between 5,000 and 5,400 years old and was unearthed at a Neolithic site at Champ Durand in France. If brain surgery on the cow cranium was performed in order to save the animal, this would be the first ever veterinary operation. So, this was all for today, I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did then, please leave a like on this video. You can give your feedback in the comments section below. With this, I'm signing off for today. I hope you have a great day ahead.